you will recall when the president was here a few weeks ago to declare open the corridor of unity and to launch a cricket competition between the localities of Luzignan to Golden Grove. He made a commitment that he will provide equipment to prepare the grounds because as you may have been aware, we visited a couple of facilities and we observed that a lot of physical work has to be done before the competition can get going. To assist in this endeavor, the president made that commitment to provide two tractors with um, accompanying cutting equipment to cut and um, prepare the ground for the competition. Today, we have the two pieces of equipment uh, which we will formally hand over to this corridor. We chose Luziknan only for convenience. Luziknan is only the custodian of this equipment. It is for the benefit and use of all the grounds in the area identified. So we don't want dispute to arise and controversy to erupt in relation to who owns what. This thing is owned by the government of Guyana. It's not owned by any of the NDCs. It is simply being put here to be used in the geographic spans identified. The coordinators of the competition, the East Coast Cricket Board and the Ministry of Sports will together determine how it will be used, when it will be used and the protocols that will surround the use of the equipment. The date for the uh, Unity Cup is going to be determined soon. What we're trying to do as well is to get a good idea of when would be the best time to host it. Because now that people are getting their vaccines, it's, you know, within the next few weeks and next few months, more and more of our population will become inoculated and there will be less of the same kind of demands on on gatherings so we're trying to see how we can when we will best do it but it'll more than likely be um, before or leading up into our independence day period let me express our sincere <coughs> gratitude to the minister sitting here and by extension his excellency the president dr mohammed irfan ali this generosity that you see from a caring government must not be taken lightly. We have been suffering for a very long time, and you know this. East Coast, we have 26 grounds with only nine operable because of the, 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 the difficulty in maintaining these facilities. Clearly, you have heard from His Excellency himself, and now you see him delivering to his minister. I personally would like to express my sincere gratitude again to the government of Guyana and those who are presenting this equipment. Thank you very much, sir.